guys, it's Lexi. Hope you're all having an awesome day. I am here to share an updated wax collection and storage video with you. The last time that I filmed one of these was April 2021. I just went back and checked my channel. So it's been a minute. So mo I would say, gosh, I, I would hope most of the wax that I did share in that video is now out of my collection. There might be like one or two pieces, honestly, but I have been really trying to prioritize. So the majority of wax you'll be seeing in this video, you probably have not seen in that last video. So it should be a lot of new and exciting stuff. So this is the main area that I store it for each season. That means during the spring and summer months, I have these, you know, all of the scents that I'm currently using stored here. So a lot of like fruity and fresh and stuff like that. And then, you know, like seasonal type scents. And then in the fall and winter, I rotate it. So I'll move all of my stuff that I'll share with you in my kitchen storage unit. And I, I put it in here. So I kind of rotate spring, summer, fall, winter. So currently I just changed this over, which is why I'm doing this video because everything is now successfully rotated over into the fall winter bins. A lot of the scents from this bin are currently in my current melting basket, which is my fall festival basket for September of 2023. And those two, the ba that main basket, which is actually two baskets, are this brown one in this cupboard and then in this little cubicle area and then this white bin up there so these are my current in use melting baskets and like i said it's my fall festival theme i am not going to be sharing anything in those two bins because everything in those video everything in those bins are from that last melting basket video so if you're curious what a fall festival themed melting basket looks like, then I'll link that video below. Um, it should be probably one of my last ones or last few videos if you want to check that out. But everything else I'm going to go through today, um, and I'm, I'm probably just not going to name scent notes. So, um, so like I said, this is all fall non-Halloween specific scents. So a lot of these are also going to be... Um, move to like my November before Christmas type scents. Up here, I have all of my Halloween. I put them in the black bin. I figured that was like the spooky one. <laughs> I don't know. So all of those are my Halloween scents up here. Um, down here, I have all of my Christmas and winter themed scents. And then up in this bin here, this is actually going to be one I'm not going to share with you today because this is a melting basket that I pulled that I, I really am excited for um, sharing that and the theme and everything, but I think I'm going to hold off on that because we have fall coming and those are like non, it's like a non-fall specific melting basket. So if anything, that'll probably be something that I'll share with you guys um, in the month of uh, probably January, if I had a guess. So, or February, but we'll see. Um, so I'm not gonna share that bin also, but the rest of it, free reign. And then before we dive down into what's inside of this, if you guys were curious because I didn't mention it, this is typically my melting basket box that I use, but my melting basket for September was so large that I couldn't fit everything in there. And instead, I actually went through some of the wax that I had that was like Halloween themed from last year. And if it didn't perform well in my home, or it wasn't something that was like a scent appeal for me, I guess, or didn't, you know, didn't have much scent appeal. I ended up putting it in this bin here, and this is all going to go to my sister. And then on top of it in this bin, this is actually where I keep all of my wax empties for the month. And I do have two random little samples from Teddy Bees. I've been really good at staying on top of using all my samples lately. So that's what's going on there. This is all of the wax. And if you can, you can probably tell from this. It's about half full of the spin is right now, which is really good. That means that about half of my fall themed wax um, is in that brown bin that I shared um, for my current melting basket. So I will say I did mention my Halloween bin is the next one. However, I do have a few like overflow Halloween type items in this bin as well. Um, just because I was like, well, I don't want to put them with the Christmas stuff. And the other bin is like another melting basket like I mentioned so 
you'll see a couple Halloween things. So let me just start really quickly. I'm not gonna go through set notes, but I'll just quickly name off some of these. A lot of these are from my last Zape haul. So we'll run through these really quickly. I have some clamshells. This is Witch Please. We've got blueberry muffins. This one is Boo Bars. We have Fall Naps, Ghost Stories, Annabelle, Friday Night Lights, Pumpkin Queen, Pumpkin Roll, and Dutch Baby. A few of the Halloween Overflow Zape Shapes we have. This is Beetlejuice. We have Casper, Cabin in the Woods, as well as Black Magic Chai. You'll see a lot of this. L3 Waxy Wonders, Brown Sugar Fig, Adipose, Nilla Wafer, Scoopable. A lot of these are double bagged for just storing for now. We have Vermont from Hayden Row Candle Co. in here. We've got a Teddy Bee's Oak Cider in Woods, Death's is Homespun Scents, Cinderella's Pumpkin Carriage, Pumpkin Queen from Teddy Bee's. Two more from Teddy Bee's. We have Pumpkin Spice and Cake Batter, as well as Spiced Acorn. From Rose Girls, we have a Very Mario Thanksgiving. Pumpkin Warm Vanilla Sugar Carbs. Hussy and Bayside Tigers. Deer Camp. Birdo and Bowser's Bonfire. Fire Mario. Two overflow Halloween lows, which eventually will go in that Halloween bin once they can fit. We have Salt Mound Melts, Haunted Bake Shop, and Hungry Ghosts. A few clamshells here from Goose Creek. We have Rustic Leaves, Toasty Pumpkin Toddy. This one here is Autumn Sunset, Cold Autumn Leaves, and First Autumn Frost. We've got Mainstays Cashmere Mahogany, Mainstays Mold Cider, Better Homes and Gardens Chilly Autumn Evening, and Sensational's Pumpkin Apple Muffins. A few things from Yankee Candle. We have Autumn Wreath. We have two cents, the little like one, I don't even know, like one and done, what are they called? Wax Melt Singles in Dried Lavender and Oak. So two of those. A Dried Lavender and Oak Easy Melt Cup. And this one is Honey Crisp Apple Cider as well as Cider House. Three clamshells from the Bathing Garden. Pumpkin Marshmallow Cookie Jar. Pumpkin Butterscotch Chip Waffles. And November's Pumpkin. All right, and I have a ton from Scentsy, so buckle in. We've got Wild for Fall. Johnny Appleseed. Cran Apple Crumble. Fairy Tale Pumpkin, Orchard Apple and Spice, Caramel Chestnut, Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin, Very Perry Pumpkin, Harvest Blessings, Cranberry Pumpkin Spice, this one on cold I really love, Rum Raisin Cookie, Painted Leaves, Autumn Stroll, Maple Rum Cake, Apple Press, and Falling Apples. Two Autumn Road Trips here and two Bright Cider Lifes. Two Caramel Apple Crazes and three Toasted Acorn and Oaks. Four Apple S'mores. This is my Halloween bin. I obviously love Halloween, <laughs> if you can't tell. I go a little bit crazy every year when it comes to like Halloween inspired scents, so it is quite full. Okay, let me jump into it and I'm just gonna kind of go through randomly again. So this is a tub from Salt Mountain Melts in Black Magic. We've got Black Cauldron from Zay. Two from Rose Girls. We have Boo Spooky Castle and Midnight Lace. A lot of these are double bagged. I'm sorry, um, I was storing these since last Halloween, so just to try to keep that scent in there. So we've got Poison Apple from Zape. We've got another uh, Beetlejuice scent here from last year. That is a favorite. This one here is Haunted Hill from last year's release. And in this double bag, I have two stored together. We have Crypt Keeper and Red Rum. And these are both like little spooky shapes, like an eye and a pumpkin. Cookies and Scream from Zape, another Black Magic Chai from last year, 
and yet another black magic chai from last year this is like i said a favorite favorite cabin in the woods stored with a hocus pocus and here this one is Halloween Town and The Ritual and Coven Store. We've got Bewitched from Empire Alchemy, and this is two massive bags of it stored together. We've got Haddonfield, also from Empire Alchemy. Headless Horseman, also from Empire Alchemy and Autumn Cat. This one here is Super Tarts Coven. And this is all from my previous Brita's Creepy Treasures haul. So if you watch that, these are all going to be just from that haul. We've got What's Your Fave Scary Movie, Two Planchettes and Hannah Crana, Monster Bash, Please Don't Kill Me, Mr. Ghostface, Welcome to Horrorland, The Betrayal, Night Stalker, This is Halloween, Beware the Purple Peanut Butter, and We All Float, Autumn Coffee, Cauldron Concoction, and Babashook. For From Teddy Bees, we have Salem, Whip Staff Manor, All Hallows Eve, and The Black Dread. Found another from Zape in Spooky Hollow, and this is from L3 Waxy Wonders in today is October 3rd. A couple older ones from Brita's. We have Crypt Keeper, Annabelle, and Switch. I've got three here from Vintage Chic Scents. We've got Woodsboro, Loomis, and we've got Christine. Three scoops here from Zape. We've got Season of the Witch, Candy Corn Cake, and Halloween Town. We've got Southbound's Haunted Hayride, Spooky Season, Basic Witch, and Ghoul Gang. Two from Dust's Homespun Scents, Haunted Carnival and Haunted Doom Buggy. Three from That Smell Good Shop, Deadpool, Creep Show, and Voodoo. From Teddy Bees, we have Witches Be Crazy, Witches Be Crazy for Strawberry Pound Cake, and Creep Show. From Salt Mountain Melts, we have Evil Queen. We have 100% That Witch, and then both of these are Coven, which I love the scent. And then finally, I'm not gonna go through all of these individually, but this is the entire Exorcist sampler from last year from British Creepy Treasures. I did do a haul video. I'll try to link that one down below if you guys are curious all the scent notes, but this is all of them, so I need to use that this year. From Rose Girls, we have Big Witch Energy. Salem, October's, and Toasted Pumpkin Seeds and Candy Corn. Two Yankee Candle Centerpiece Melt Cups in Spooky Spider Cider. We've got lots of really cute little shapes here from the Bathing Garden. I love all of their Halloween shapes. This one is a little jack-o'-lantern and he is in the scent Pistachio Pumpkin. We've got a little ghost in the scent Boo. This one is Burnt Banana Brains, little brain shape. And then we've got a little pumpkin in a wickedly whimsical autumn, as well as a little mummy guy in the scent Crimson Mummy. All right, let's stick with the bathing garden. We have Poisoned Spells, London Mist Rising, Mummy Mademoiselle, Cemetery Keys, Cherry Cauldron Goo. This is Faded Opulence and Magic Green Soup. Unrelenting Mummy Dust, Witchy, Batty Caramel Apple, Spellbound, Poisoned Apothecary, and one of my favorites, Char Jack-O-Lantern. The Welsh Witch, and then I do have a Jumbo Clamshell in Faded Opulence. The scent is so good. Next, we have All Scentsy. These first two are in the scent Roll the Dice. I have two in Hocus Pocus, um, what's it called? Perfectly Wicked. Two in Jack's Obsession. Two in Gimme Candy. I have one Scary Good and one Velvet Moon. And I do realize this is outrageous, but I have 10 clamshells in Ghostly Greetings. This is one of my favorite Scentsy scents. It did come back and I stuck it in my clubs. As if the last one wasn't crazy enough, I have 13 Halloween Town. This also came back and I also stuck it in my club. So yeah, those two Scentsy bars, I gotta be, I gotta be 
using those this uh, October because I do love them. I really do love those scents, but man, what a little cuckoo bananas on those. All right, I had to move you guys out onto the table because whoo, my back was like really hurting me laying down like that. Um, so, <laughs> so we're gonna move on to this next bin here, which is all of my Christmas wax. All right, so jumping right in, we have British Creepy Treasures in Fraser First Strawberry and Mulberry. This one is Teddy Bee's Winterfell. We've got Winter Citrus Wreath from Salt Mountain Melt. This one is Fraser Fir Sugared Apple and Wild Current Sandalwood from that Smell Good Shop. We have Mrs. Claus's Bakery from Salt Mountain Melts. This one is one of my all time favorites and it's turning very yellow. That's weird. Um, this is Zape's Tinsel Town. I've got another zape shape here in Ba Humbug, as well as Santa's Diner. I've stored three of the zape shapes together here in Christmas Eve, White Christmas, and Christmas Morning. This one is all chopped up, but this is Zapes Waiting for Santa. Another zape scent in Winter Fest. We've got Ginger Nog, as well as the very beloved Yuletide Carols. This is Cedar Red Currant Plum Delicious and Sweet Winterberry from that Smell Good Shop. And this adorable little like snowman bar, I guess, is called Penguin Parade from the Bathing Garden. We've got a loaf here in By the Fireplace from Salt Mountain Melt. This is a chopped up custom loaf from Britta's and May Your Spirits Be Bright. And then all the rest of these are Rose Girls. We have Rockin' Around the Question Block on the naughty list yoshi the red nosed dino christmas eve in cookie land snow fairy princess it's cold outside frosted pine cone noel frosted winterberry blizzard on the star express swamps and waluigi's winter carnival a couple little samples here from the bathing garden. This is apple spearmint crunch ice cream and a little ice cream shape. We've got gingerbread paramel, Claus Manor, rosemary mint, Krampus, and winter masquerade and a little mitten. I've also got a few shapes here from Rose Girls and Spearmint and Did Someone Say Frosting? This is Southbound's Cozy Vibes for Soufflés of By the Fireplace. Also from Salt Mountain Melts, I have The Lodge. I have Hugo, maybe, uh, from that, I don't know, it's like that warm, cozy word. I, I can, I always butcher that word. This is Holy Night. All the rest of these are Teddy Bees. We have Cabin in the Woods. We have The North. This is Winterfell, Vanilla Balsam, and Magic in the Air. This one is Snow Queen, Gingerbread Ice Cream Cake, Morning Cup of Christmas, Strawberry Vanilla Birch, and finally Milk Cookies and Eggnog. A scoopable in Reindeer Nose from L3 Waxy Wonders, Salt Mountain Melt Milk and Cookies for Santa, Three Zape Clamshells in Christmas Magic, Yuletide Carols, and Jingle Bell Rock. I have angelic patchouli and a little clamshell and a jumbo. This is from the bathing garden. This is one of my favorites. We've got vetiver bells from the bathing garden. All the rest of these are chestnut lodge, holiday bobbles, and I have two more backups of this. Iced peppermint cordial, just jasmine frost, spiced eggnog and chai tea. Winter Masquerade, A Snow Globe World, Mrs. Cratchit's Christmas Pudding, Candy Cane Noir, and Buttered Gingerbread. All right, and then all from Scentsy, I have four bars of Joy and Wonder, two bars of Fluffy Fleece, another favorite, Cashmere and Corduroy. I do have three bars here of that as well as three bars of Cozy Cardigan from Scentsy, Spiced Berries, Silver Bells, Woodland Suede, Saint Knickerdoodle, Cinnamon Pine Cones, 
and Scarlet Woods, Swirling Snowflakes, Winter's Eve, and Fireside Chats. Two bars here of Spiced Apple Chestnut, Very Snowy Spruce, this one is Season of Magic, Icicles and Evergreen, Black Forest Pine, Blue Christmas, Just For You, and finally we have Sweet Orange and Evergreen. All right guys, so I've moved you over to the other storage unit. This is where I keep all of my non-in-use wax, I guess, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> this is pretty much the bin that is mostly my current spring and summer wax. I do have some wax in here that is just kind of like general bakery, general fruity, general uh, outdoorsy type scents and stuff like that. But like the things that I think are like very seasonally specific fall winter, I did put in the other section. So you'll kind of see that as we go along. But just to give you guys like a brief overview, there are four drawers here. The top drawer is all of my very specific summer scents. So if the wax says summer on the label or it's like very tropical, beachy, fruity, it goes in this top bin. And then these three are all like just different scent bases. So this is all of the bakery scents. This is all of the masculine, earthy, fresh, clean type scents. And then this one is all of the fruity, floral, like feminine based scents. So they're all kind of broken down into different categories. I'm just gonna jump through and we're gonna start off with the summer specific scents. So this is kind of an overview of what that drawer looks like. Everything is tucked away in here. And we are just going to kind of pick and pull as we go through this. We've got Yankee Candles Poolside Oasis and a Goose Creek clamshell in Passion Fruit Beach Party. This is a Goose Creek clamshell in Sailboat. Yankee Candle Seaside Woods, Yankee Candle Life's a Breeze, Goose Creek Pina Colada, and Goose Creek Moonlit Coconut. This is a custom loaf I made from Brita's in Midsummer. From Rose Girls, we have Fourth of July. This one is Hula Girl. And this one is Tis the Sea Sun. I have a chopped up loaf here from Salt Mountain Melts in Daisy Dukes and Flip Flops, as well as a chopped up loaf in Heat Wave. I have a backup loaf in Heat Wave and another loaf from Salt Mountain in Towel Boy Toy. Two from Salt Mountain in Summer Creamery. Catching Rays from Salt Mountain, as well as Key Largo. A tub from Salt Mountain Melts in Summer Camp. Three souffles from Teddy Bees. We have Fresh Summer Woods. We have Summer of Love. And we have Surfside Sweet Shop. Five souffles here from Hayden Row. These are all double bags, so they're kind of crazy. But we've got Deck Chair. We've got Black Sea Barber. This one is Cruel Summer. We've got shorts and sweater. And we have Beach House. This is Bikinis and Bliss from Empire Alchemy. I found a few more Rose Girls all double bagged already. We've got Strawberry Soda and Did Someone Say Frosting plus Kiwi. We've got Banana Boom Boom. This one is Getting Caught in the Rain as well as I Need a Vacation. Empire Alchemy Mango Guava Bubbles. This one is Skinny Dippin' from Sensi. Two from Sensationals, Pacific Coast Highway, and Passion Fruit Banana. All of the rest of these are from Sensi. This is Star Apple and Freesia, and we have two Make a Splash. We have Amazon Rain and two Sunshine and Tan Lines here. I have Watermelon Mint and two Apple Teeny Splashes. One Mad for Melon and two Summer Soleil Bars. Vanilla Waves. Tangerine Creamsicle, Melon Apple Granita, another bar of Skinny Dipping, and Peachy and Palm Trees. And I found this tucked in the back. This is Better Homes and Gardens Pineapple and Vanilla. This is my bakery drawer. Kind of how I decided like what to put in here is, I, there's obviously like a lot of like fruit and different things blended with bakery, but if the predominant note when I sniffed it was a bakery note, I stuck it in here. So from Dessa's Homespun Scents, we have Blackberry Buckle, 
We've got burnt sugar cotton candy brulee, iced circus cookies, circus concession, and circus under the stars. From Salt Mountain Melts, we have circus animal stuffed sugar cookies in a tub and a souffle, as well as mm fried dough. From Hayden Row, we have Sweet Caroline and Carnival. From Teddy Bee's, we have Miss Mallow's Cookies, Strawberry Pound Cake, The Usual Suspects, Mom Life, Smoke Show, Sophisticated Confectionery, and Chai Tea Cookies. Tiff's Favorite Bakery, Do A More, Waffle Bomb, Banana Spice, and milk and cookies. Jamboree, crispy dream, kinda bad, kinda bougie, and fancy cakes. From Salt Mountain Melts, we have two raspberry cookies, we have two cherry banana bread, and we have two not so little Debbies. We've got cherry cupcakes, sugar mama, as well as crunch berry pound cake, Barbie a la mode, raspberry pretzel crunch cake, and it's my party and I'll cry if I want to. From L3 Waxy Wonders and Bitty Betty's, we have banana cream pie, buttermilk pie, raspberry peach macaroons, and buttermilk pie. From Southbound, we have cherry coconut cake and bohemian raspberry. From Birdie's Making Sense, we have Hannah's Baby, sugared strawberry cookies. Uh, this one is sugar, sugar. And this one is Here I Crumb. Another Teddy Bee Souffle and Pineapple Upside Down Cake and Sweetheart Cookies. From Salt Mountain Melts, I have two loaves, one in Bake Shop and one in Fluffer Nutter Cookies. Destination Wax is Jelly Cronut. That Smell Good Shop, Pistachio Pops, Buttercream Icing and Yellow Cake. And Goose Creek Caramel Vanilla Cone. Goose Creek Angel Food Cake. Strawberry Sponge Cake and marshmallows. Better Homes and Gardens Wild Berry Cheesecake, Sensational Lemon Blueberry Donuts, Farmhouse Cookies, Strawberry Crunch, and Cookies and Cream. From Scentsy, I have Blueberry Cheesecake, two Walnut Raisin Muffins, one Cranberry Muffin, one Graham Cracker Crunch, one crumb top, and one fried ice cream. Two from L3 Waxy Wonders and Scoops. I have peanut butter, banana, mallow fluff, and fresh baked bread, as well as banana cream pie, vanilla butter fudge, bakery bomb, and crushed pretzel, crushed pretzel crust. All right, from the bathing garden, we have mallow cookie bomb. Oh wait, this is not from the bathing garden. This is Sensational's Marshmallow Krispies. We have back to the bathing garden. Uh, pretzel peanut butter twist, circus cake, and life is a circus, fried candy donut, clowning around, candied kettle pop, Victorian carousel, and this one is cream soda cupcake. Finishing out with Rose Girls, we have Snoop Snacks. A loaf in Waluigi's Wondrous Birthday Cake. A loaf in Banana Birthday Cake Cookie Land. Peanut Butter and Jelly Cupcakes. Huckleberry Cheesecake Pie. A Sweet Princess Party. And Nilla Strawberry Noel. Saltwater Taffy Campfire Marshmallows and Cup of Cake, which I think this is now maybe called like Campfire Treats or Campfire Snacks or something. I think she renamed that. This one is Poochie's Pup Pops. We've got Peppermint Patty, Pretzel Day, Sugar Daddy, Banana Cream Pie, Butter Pecan Cookies and Coconut Milk, as well as Pistachio Cookie Butter Donut Holes. Oops, I forgot one from the last one. This is Camp Out Barbie from Salt Mountain Milk. Okay, so this here is the, I don't know, it's kind of hard. It's like the masculine, kind of base scents, the outdoorsy scents, the scents that have like wood or fireside or fresh rain, things like that. So kind of a little bit of a mishmash, but like, yeah, I guess that's like the majority of these scents. So let's jump in here. We've got two from Rose Girls. First one is Crawler Hunting and the other is Pond Scum. From Teddy Bees, we have Rain and Wood and Bonfire Night. Rose Girls by Dirt. Rose Girls Glamping. 
And this is a loaf from Britta's in Spark It Up. This was a custom I did. Four of these clamshells from Destination Wax in Grass Stain. Two from Britta's. One is a cure for wellness and stay out of the basement. Teddy Bee's Order of the Masters and the Riverlands. Lucky Clover Patchouli Rain and Rosemary Mint and Cabin in the Woods, Cashmere Woods, and Invictus Type from that Smell Good Shop. Backcountry from Zape. Oadwood Vanilla Lace and Patchouli from L3 Waxy Wonders. Earthwise from Super Tarts, as well as Jess's Homespun Scents in Pirate Voyage. This is an earthy sampler I got from L3 Waxy Wonders. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I will link below in the description the video where I went into depth just because none of these have names, there's just a bunch of scent notes on here. So that would take a minute to read through all those. So I'll link the video below. This is a loaf in Bliss from the Pharmacist's Daughter, a loaf from Teddy Bees and Khaleesi, three sunshot cups from Midnight Daydream Wax Company. He's no longer in business, but this is the scent Intrigue, which is the Aventus, is it the Aventus Creed? Or some, it's some perfume dupe. I can't remember now. Um, but this is like a favorite scent of mine and I'm really sad that it's gonna be gone. So I'm, I'm hoarding those. And then this is also from him in Dryer Fresh. We've got Concept Vanilla, Cleaning Day, Milk of the Poppy, I Heart Vanilla Palo Santo, Smoke Show, and White Woods and Bonfires. From Hayden Row, we have Peace Corps, Navarro, Africa, uh, oh, this is from Teddy Bees, this is Michael, and then this is from Salt Mountain Melts in Insatiable. This is Velcor from Empire Alchemy, another Empire Alchemy in Gray Days. We have Rodeo from Rose Girls, one of the good ones from Rose Girls, and Sunday Dry. Two from The Bathing Garden, we have Told You Wood and Twigs and Berries. One from Yankee Candle in Clean Cotton. From Sensationals, we have Cuddle Up and Enchanted. From Goose Creek, we have Cool Raindrops, Guilty, Teakwood, and Cotton Vanilla Breeze. We have Suit and Tie and Oud, Forest, Wild Mint and Birch and Morning Mist. And all of the rest are from Scentsy. I have three My Dear Watsons. I have five World Travelers. Three Business Casual. Two Sandalwood Tangerines. Two Jade and Jasmines. Two Route 66s. Rainforest Bungalow and Palo Santo, Glacier Water and Fearless by Nature, My Hero and Hendrix, Zeppelin and Alpine Meadow, Around the Campfire, Midnight Fig, and Stargazing. Finally, this drawer is surprisingly stuck to the brim. I guess I did not realize I was that big of a fruity floral fan, but here we are. So let me start digging through this. We've got a lot to go here. So I've got Teddy Bee's Lady I don't know how to say this, Lady Lena, Lady Liana, I don't know. This one is vanilla and stone fruit. We have Field of Whispers, Sugared Violets and Angel Cake, Emma of Normandy, and Queen of the South. From Birdie's Making Sense, we have Every Rose Has Its Thorn, as well as Do at Pig Stuff. This one here is Goose Creek Cotton Candy, Southbound Sweet Berry Jam. From the Bathing Garden, we have Twirling Trapeze, Great Grape Waffle Cone, Drink Me, When Wonderlands Dream, and Butterflies and Toadstools, Scandaliciously Talking Flower Bomb, Curious and Curiouser, and the illusionist. Found this tucked in the back. This is Hot Pie and Apple from Teddy Bees. I'm actually gonna tuck this in my fall non-Halloween drawer, I think. I've got Starlight Soda Pop, Huckleberry Grape Smash Pop, and Dancing Elephants. Kitchen Herb, Lotus and Pearl, and Mandarin and Guava. Flower Shop from that Smell Good Shop. Find Your Happy from Scentsy First Kiss Fireworks. My Only Sunshine, Pink Sugarberry Mint. Starburst Sky, Clementine Blossom, My Wish, Flower Shop, Pima Cotton. This one is Snow White Ki uh, Kind Heart, Raspberry Lollipop, Blackberry Spice, Black Currant Plum, Silhouette, Boho, Buckleberry, Vanilla Blackberry, I Love You Berry Mutt, and Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl, Huckleberry and Clementine, Rainbows and Butterflies, Pink Haze, and Shimmer, two Huckleberry Sage, 
Enchanted Mist and Forever Yours, three Hey Tiger Lilies, three Sweet Plum Pastry Bars, five Strawberry Swirls, three Angel Experiment 624s, three Mulberry Bushes, Rise in Sunshine, Love and Happiness, and Spring Forward, Pink Sunshine, Quiver and Iridescent. Spun Sugar from Teddy Bees. From that Smell Good shop, we have Honeysuckle Jasmine, Cherry Cola Cake, Egyptian Musk, Pandemonium, and Plum Crazy Cotton Candy Marshmallow Confection. Another from that Smell Good shop is Grape Airheads. From Destination Wax, we have Bartlett Pear. We have Morning Walk from Super Tart. I think I might actually stick this in the earthy drawer now that I'm smelling it again. From Better Homes and Gardens, we have Apricot Blossom and Bergamot and White Peach and Daisy, as well as Sensational's Magic Spell. From Hayden Row, we have Vanilla Sky, Baccarat Rouge, 540 and satin sheet. From Birdie's Making Sense, we have Ginger Lime and Jamie Lynn. From Salt Mountain Melts, we have Y2K and Liquid Sunshine. Dust's Homespun Scent, Sweet Macerated Strawberries. Teddy Bee's Grown Women Shit, or Woman Shit. And we have Birdie's Making Sense, Lilac, Love Spell, and Cotton Candy. We have Jaws from Super Tarts. From Zape, we have Peach Fuzz. This one is Vanilla Sunrise down. And then this one is Bougie. Two from British Creepy Treasures. We have The Dead Girlfriend and Deep Trouble. From Southbound, we have Wild Berry Tulips. From Destination Wax, we have Jasmine. And then all the rest of these are from Rose Girls. We have Peach Magnolia Raspberry, Moo Moo Track, Midnight Garden, Shady Pines, Banana Cream Pie Vanilla Lace, A Unicorn's Life, Three Red Shells, Up on the Castle Top, Wickedly Wonderful Wario, Manic Mario Madness, Star of Wonder, Star of Night, Moo Moo Track again, and Plum Crazy. And then I did just find one more. This is A Change of Heart from Empire Alchemy. And then finally, hi guys, <laughs> this is my Rose Girls Mini Melter blender drawer. So if you watched my last um, wax collection video, this is what I started with. In this video, I'm going to end it with this one just because this I've noticed I really need to start working on more. I, I tend to just go towards the like the pre-blended scents. Um, so and you know, just so I can have them in a melting basket with like fun themes. But I have found that I just really haven't been like reaching towards any of the scents in this drawer. So I really need to work on it. I'm not gonna pull all of these out, but I will say that they're organized very well. These are um, like, this is all bakery, this is all fruity, these are like the toppings, and then I have like fresh scents over here, and these are all of they, uh, the like single fragrance oils that I can use to like mix and match and blend. So I do have a few here that are not from Rose Girls that I'll mention first. I have a Jumbo Vanilla Bean Buttercream Clamshell from Scentsy. I have a Destination Wax Marshmallow Fluff. I have two more from Destination Wax in Patchouli Essential Oil 101. This one is Crumb Top Tight from L3 Waxy Wonders. And then all the rest of these are from Rose Girl. So I'm just gonna start over here. I have Sauvage Dior Type, Morning Sex, All Nighter, Woolen Blanket, Vanilla Sandalwood, Kissing in the Rain. I forgot I had that. See, that's what happens. And then Rain by itself. And Speechless. I've got the um, like toppings drawer. I have Butter Brickle, uh, Caitlin's Scotch Jeruse, which is a butterscotch scent, Ooey Gooey Caramel, Cotton Candy Frosting, Serendipity, Gilligan's Brew, Whipped Cream, Marshmallow Smoothie, and Campfire Marshmallows. I forgot I had that too. I have um, Sweet Pumpkin Pie, Apple Fritter, Blueberry Cobbler, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Sicilian Lemon Cookie, Pistachio, Green Apple, Blue Raspberry Slushy, uh, Boo Berry, Cereal Killer, 
orange sherbet, killer Kool-Aid, and warm vanilla sugar. So many good ones in here too, you guys. I just need to reach for it. I have mango sorbet, mulberry, which is another great one, blackberry, raspberry sauce, black cherry, strawberry jam, strawberry shortcake, Macintosh Madness, Honey Vermont Apple, Strawberry Raspberry Guava, Peaches and Cream, Pear and Pineapple, as well as, mm, that one's tucked way back, what is this? Pina Colada. And then finally, all the way over here, we have Donut Holes, Dunk My Donut, Vanilla Crunch Donut, Pie Crust, Birthday Cake, Nilla Noel, Opposite of Keto, Carbs, Waffle Cone, cook, sugar cookie dough, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie, cookie land, and I think that's it, and cookie land, yep. And that's all of my blender scents. So like I said, I really need to use this, work on this, um, but this is a drawer that I had kind of, I don't know, I felt like this was like a drawer that I like made into like a project and I'm most like really proud of it but then I'm like I don't want to ruin it because it's so beautifully organized that I just like don't reach for it which is so silly so I'm gonna have a melting basket after the holiday season and it's literally just gonna be this again I don't want to put off melting these anymore but I really have a lot of like fall and hol holiday wax so it's tough you guys I think I might have to do another um no buy soon which the no buy, low buy thing went extremely well before, but I, I was able to, like the top part of this um, used to also be filled with wax. And I did have, there's another spot that I had wax stored too. So I, I have been using it um, and I've, I've gotten to a much, much better place than I was, but still it's hard, you guys. You know how it is when you love wax, it's, it's hard, so. That's it, you guys. I appreciate you watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye, guys.